I compose at my home in northeastern Victoria. I live in a little valley uh, in the foothills of the Australian Alps uh, on a bit of acreage, so there's some um, very little by way of distraction there. I can't just dash out from the house if I need to or feel on a whim that I need to go to a shop or a post office or anything like that. So the isolation is actually terrific. And it helps that it's one of the more, more beautiful parts of the Victorian countryside. So it's a real joy to be there. I generally work to a pretty strict routine. Um, I like to get stuck into writing music as early in the day as I can because that's, I find, when the ideas are freshest. And the longer I put off starting work, the harder it is to actually do any. So I have to wean myself off email and Twitter and reading the newspapers and that sort of thing. One of the first things I need to do is work out a kind of overall plan of the piece. How, how I'm going to structure that time, where the important events in the piece are going to happen, where the climaxes are going to happen, where sections might change for contrast and so on. And completely complementary to that, which is the sort of the overview big picture, is starting to work with the little ideas which might burgeon into a theme or a chord progression or a rhythmic idea. So I can spend a few days seemingly very frustrated sitting at a table with this blank piece of paper in front of me and scrawls and dots and dashes and nothing that I feel is going to be of any value. Um, but then that's part of the process and I've been doing this now for so long that I know that that's something I just have to live through until the moment where it all suddenly comes together. Then what I generally do is to write out a very skeletal version of the music which where I run over by a bus would mean nothing to anybody else but to me it's enough to then take it to the next stage which is to write a complete score, which these days I do on computer.